the original Kiwi supermodel. And coming up, Rachel Hunter opens up exclusively about the pressures to stay skinny, her new reality show, and ageless love. No one knows how winning a beauty contest can transform your life quite like the gorgeous Jen Hawkins. And coming up, we find out which Aussie A-listers have a serious foot fetish. And pack your bags, we're going on holiday. Rocky Balboa is meant to be the best one since Rocky, the original, 30 oh, years ago. You're making me sweat, thank you. Apparently your wife started crying when you told her you were going totally. to do it. Yeah, she got hysterical. I said, all you want to do is you're going to humiliate yourself. I said, what's new? She's without doubt the most talked about musical artist in Australia right now. She's gorgeous, she's talented. Maddie, tell me, have you just won? Yes. What did you win for? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> as long as you win, who cares? Now this is your first Spider-Man, the third yeah. one in the series. Was it kind of daunting being part of such a huge franchise? And what better way to raise money for breast cancer research than by getting Australia's top designer, the d -Row. But how do these celebs glam up? Is there a lot of prep that goes into looking this glamorous? While some didn't follow convention oh, at all. I'm a walking radio station, does everyone know? Mix 106.5. Oh, we're getting reception loud and clear. From Lantana to Dancing with the Stars, she's one of Australia's most fascinating actors. Axis Olaria sat down with Kerry Armstrong to talk about her latest role. You seem to have this girl power thing going, that you have this beauty that really genuinely radiates out of you, this, this is a big yeah. smile and stuff. How do you maintain that equilibrium and, and that find that strength in, in Hollywood? Well, I think that for me, um, with life, it's all about being appreciative. In life, there's perhaps one question more important than any other. When it comes to picking men, who's gay, who's straight, and who's taken? We hit the streets to find out if you can pick it. He's straight, I'd say. Yep, man bag. Smells like man, yeah, doesn't it? Does. Mmm, fresh man. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, fresh meat. <laughs> Hello, bud. Welcome to Australia. Hello, I'm Smith here. Very nice. Wow, wow, wow. Apparently you're looking for Australian wife, is that true? Uh, yes, uh, how much for you? <laughs> Apparently you're on a plane with Janice Dickinson, is that correct? That Did that make correct, you a little yeah. bit more afraid of flying? The hat, yeah. the scar, the beard. It's a great thing to fill out with mm. as much kind of cunning and charm and devilry that you can come up with. It's so interesting, even seeing you answer the questions, there's that, that mime background, that, that theatrics just is resonant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean you're, you're so, your whole body's engaged in telling a story? Come Vixen, come Dancer, come Prancer, come Dragster, it's Mardi Gras. And what time do we air there? You'll air at 10.30 at night, the day before you. So it actually could air the day before you guys air, but we're actually a day later. <laughs> I don't understand any of it. <laughs> Coming up, we take you exclusively behind the scenes as Australia's next supermodel, Miranda Kerr, gets set to shoot her latest fashion campaign. But if the official Olympic merchandise is a little too authentic for you, there's a bevy of top fashion labels that have created Olympic-inspired collections worthy of a gold medal. Now, I know that you spent Father's Day with your best mate. Ben Affleck and, and his family. And you guys seem to have this amazing ability to be at the same space. You know, he's got a baby and he's got a wife. And is, yeah. it, is it important having that friendship and now being able to share fatherhood together? Yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, it, we didn't plan it that way, but uh, you know. It, <laughs> you bring him up. Hey, yeah, Ben, listen, come on, right, let's get your wife This pregnant. year we're going to get married and. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, you love it. Alicia, you hate it. Mm, kill it. Oh, kill! Okay, I'll tell you why I love okay, it. Go. Okay, go. First of all, did you see those Vanity Fair photos? Yes. They've basically been intimate together. And the next thing you do in Hollywood after you've been intimate is you get a divorce. So, <laughs> own it with your parents. True. Yeah. Write it out, girl. Write but it you out. You what? She hooked him up as well. He plays a role on her show. So, so she... And, and not only shit. that, he's trying to get her to break up with this hot underwear model who's 20 years old. If my father was trying to break, make me break up with a 20 year old underwear model, I'd divorce He's him too. Like, what is a pimpogram? Apparently a pimpogram mm. is when you want something, you're not just happy with the normal rapogram, you want him to be decked out in <laughs> oh, okay. a pimp outfit, like right. a big fur coat and, <laughs> and a cane and a, really? and a cup. And I don't know what shoes. a cup is, by the way, I'm like, I want to ask. Right. And he'll, he'll arrive there and just All be right. pimp daddy. Yes. yes. Got it. And while appearing in countless magazines and billboards certainly increases the star's visibility, do they look like they're selling product or just plain selling out? You'd be more interested in buying a product if it was endorsed by a celebrity you respect? Oh, definitely. Really? Yeah, I would actually boycott any product that was uh, endorsed by a celebrity that I didn't respect. Ooh, or, yeah. So it could work the other way as well. Absolutely. 
But if these enormous astronaut-inspired boots are giving you flashbacks, that's probably because you wore the original technical ones when you were growing up. And while they may look chic on the European ski fields where they're worn almost exclusively, on the streets of New York, we're wearing moon boots make us look, well, like a bunch of space cadets. It was time to hit the streets and road test this controversial look. They went on board one of the most fantastic yachts you've ever seen. It has four huge rooms, they've got their own private chef, eight members of crew on their beck and